increasing overnight and showers are going to break out as well. There are no showers moving our way right now. They're going to develop overnight and then move in. So again, showers are a good possibility as we start the day. But notice not everybody is getting one as the warm front passes through. I still think, and by the way, this is a brand new model that I just downloaded into the computer, so it's consistent with the earlier model in showing a bit of a break for some of us, especially south of M59, maybe a break for the early afternoon for a few hours. And again, if we can get into the low 60s with a break from the rain, that's a good time to go take maybe get out to lunch or uh, take a walk around the block or something. But notice this cold front is approaching by late afternoon, so we're going to increase the shower activity once again. And then during the evening, the front comes through and you will notice it in terms of the temperature dropping. Now, still going to have some showers behind the front, but then once we get into Thursday, we'll break out into maybe a little sun in the morning, but becoming mostly cloudy. It's going to be a breezy day and don't be surprised to see a few light snow showers around. And then we start Friday with some sun, but then we get partly cloudy skies in the afternoon, but not a bad day, some sunshine to end the work week. So let's help you plan by talking about temperatures. Here we are now with those 40s on the east side, 30s inland. Look at this, by 7 a.m., near 50 degrees. That's right, where temperature, temperatures are going to go up through the night. And then as we get into the early afternoon where we get that break, low 60s here, still mild on the east side early evening tomorrow, but notice the temperatures dropping behind that cold front and rut row by Thursday morning and back into the 30s. So one day deal out of this warmth. All right, 50 again, the overnight temperature when you wake up. It won't be the low, but it'll be the temperature when you wake up. 62 the high with the showers becoming much more numerous late in the day and into the evening. And then again, after that one shot wonder tomorrow, it's back into the 40s. We do come up into the upper 40s on Sunday, but some showers develop uh, during the afternoon. And then a real serious cold front comes through with highs early next week, only in the upper 30s, gang. Oh boy, okay. Paul, well, thank you.